Hi and welcome back to our Devera art series on working with alpaca. You would have seen our previous video on how to prepare alpaca fibre for washing and in this video we're going to go through the washing process and you'll soon see how easy it is, how obtainable it is in a non-expensive way. It just takes a little bit of patience, some water and some soap and a gentle touch. So you'll see that this is our fleece that has been hand-picked where I've cut all the tips off the fiber. I've had a lovely day outside doing it. This is vastly different to what it was when I first saw it. I've been very particular too. I've got rid of really messy stuff. This is only half the fleece. I've got rid of some and this is about 1260 grams well sorry it is 1260 grams worth of fiber and I'm going to wash it all at once you can do the same process that I'm going to show you in smaller amounts but just using smaller containers today I'm going to be using a bathtub so here we are at the bathtub in my studio it just an ordinary bathtub. I'm lucky enough to have one that I incorporated when we built this part of the studio, but I used to do it in my in the bathroom. So what you'll find here is this is just a piece of netting, could be old net curtaining. What it does is hold the wool from really sitting down on the bottom and it makes it easier to bring it all up. I use this product which is a low foam and really grabs the dirt and pulls it out. But that's not imperative. That's because I do a lot of washing of the fleece. You can use ordinary laundry detergent. Most things will actually work really well. So having, this is now about, the bath is about half full. You don't need to have it totally full. And I'm just going to throw the alpaca fibre in. Very roughly. Spread it around. Now I'm using cold water. You should always use cold water with alpaca. It has no lanolin like sheep's wool does. So it doesn't need the hot water to melt the um, any grease. It has no grease. It just has dirt and vegetable matter. Just carefully push it down. Mind you, it's a cold day today, so this is fairly cold. <laughs> you can wear gloves. And under the water, just like so. We're not agitating. Never, ever, ever agitate. You'll end up with a felted mass. Under. Wow, it's cold. <laughs> and there we are, easy. Now remember, this is just over 1200 grams of fiber. So your bathtub will do a lot of fiber for you all at one time. I would now leave it to soak for a minimum of an hour, but you could also leave it overnight. Then I'll come back, pull it out, and um, I'll show you the next step. So we're ready with our first wash to actually pull the fleece out. And you can see it's pretty dirty after even over half an hour. This is how I pull it out. So it's just like going fishing and pulling in the net. I've now dragged the netted fleece out of the bath and just put it into a container that I can move it over to the table. As you can see that 1250, 60 grams has really reduced once it's wet. I thought it'd be nice to show you though how dirty this water is before I change it over. That's only after half an hour of soaking. Just before I refill the bath I wanted to show you how dirty it was um, that was all the dirt was left behind. So you can see how 
much dirt is there and that's what I use to judge if it needs another wash depending on the amount of dirt that has been left behind. So we'll refill this now for a second wash. I brought the wet bag of fleece in its netting and I'm just going to lift it over here onto a towel. So this is at the end of the first wash. I'm just going to take it out of the netting which is quite hard because it's quite heavy at this stage. That back. Now I'm not going to be dry, well, I am kind of going to be drying it, but I'm using the towel purely as a helper to keep the fleece together. So one big lump. I'm going to roll it up. As you can see, it's very wet. And now I'm going to use my top loading washing machine. It must be a top loader to get the best effect. I just buy them for 50 bucks or for nothing. I keep an eye out on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and um, so that I always have one on the go and one waiting if this breaks down, which does happen. So what we're going to do is put this sausage into the top loader washing machine. So we're just going to take that towel sausage and place it into the drum of the washing machine. It's quite heavy, but it's doable. So all we're going to do is use the spin element. That's most important. Do not agitate, do not wash. And it uses centrifugal force. That means forcing it against the side walls of the washing machine and there is no chance of it becoming a felted mass because we have not agitated it. That is the most important thing. I do this between every wash and at the end of the process, as it helps remove dirty water and helps it to dry quicker. So here it is ready for its second washing. And I'm just going to throw that in and you can see it's fairly fluffy. And that's because I've rolled it in the towel, put it for spin dry only in the top loader. And then I've just roughly, as I've put it back in the bucket, just pulled it apart or well, might see some extra dirty bits that I don't think I'll work much with. And uh, spread it out again and repeat. So repeat this for the amount of times that you think, based often on the colour of your fibre and the amount of dirt that's still in the bottom of the bath. This is an indicator of the second and the third washing about how much dirt is left each time as it should it is actually less. There is also each time I pulled it apart for between each washing I got a more rubbish, more seeds, more discoloured fibre. You can plan on about 10% of your total wash as a indicator of potential loss. So we've gone through the process this has been washed three, I think four times overall, rinsed once in a vinegar rinse. And you can see how beautifully white and fluffy and just gorgeous it is. Now, I've also hand-picked this one. So I've just gone through again because it's very like mindfulness and meditation. It's very relaxing. And you just pull it apart and you can see I've done a pretty good job. Oh, there's a bit of a white spot, very tiny. Pick it out, put it to one side. Great to do with friends over coffee, get them involved. And you could actually work with it from here. Using my video, uh, the same principles apply of felting straight out of the shearing bag. 
it's perfectly viable to actually felt at this point from here. It's also ready for dyeing as well. It's also ready for putting through the carter. But when you put it through the carter, you must make sure that you pull those locks apart, lay it down in a lovely soft, airy bundle and let the carter do its work to align all the fibres. So there you have it. Washing your alpaca is easy. It just takes a little bit of patience, but you get this glorious stuff to play with. So have a go. And if you have any problems, just send me a comment below and I'll see if I can help. Okay, thank you for being with me. Bye.